Hi guys, so Eileen Foster, who had been the leader of the DUP since 2015, was forced out and there was an election for a new leader. The new leader is Edwin Poots. Now, Edwin is an interesting character, can I put it? Unfortunately, Edwin doesn't operate within the realms of reality. He believes that the Earth is 6,000 years old. And I think it's important that when we elect leaders or when leaders of political parties represent us, that they operate within reality. Now, we can have politicians disagree on things, but generally it, I think it's important that politicians agree on things that operate within reality. Edwin Poots, as I said, believes the Earth is 6,000 years old. Now, he's going to be defended in a way by Ian Paisley Jr., another member of the DUP, who attacked a BBC reporter for, for suggesting that there is a problem here. Paisley Jr., you were one of Edwin Poots' big backers and you have this deeply socially conservative man. We heard there from Nick Watt some of the trends towards social progress, uh, progressivism. You, what's the strategy here? How's this, how's this going to work say for your party? Cobblers to your programme so far, that's what I say uh, initially. I mean, I'm reminded of the Frank Skinner line, you can be anything in Britain today except a Christian. Uh, I mean, that, that seems to be the issue. And the BBC want to lambast the man because he happens to be a man of faith. No, it's because he has a faith that's not within rea reality. There are many Christians who accept evolution. There are many Christians who believe and understand that the earth is billions of years old. There's a very fringe group of Christians who believe that the earth is 6,000 years old. That is contrary to reality. Politicians can have their own opinions, but when a politician is leading a party and potentially leading a country, and this politician operates outside reality, then that's problematic. And they want to take the, basically the mickey out of his religion. You wouldn't do that if he was a Muslim. You wouldn't do that if he was any other religion in the United Kingdom. But you can take the mickey out of his Christian faith. You should be ashamed. No, they're taking the mickey out of the fact that his brand of religion doesn't understand reality. Now, I'm no advocate for religion, but I think it's important that at least political leaders understand science. They can park their religion and they say, look, my religious beliefs are this, but what I want to do for the country is within the realms of reality. But if somebody believes that the earth is 6,000 years old, then I'm sorry, they deserve to be criticised. And to yourselves, the BBC should be ashamed of yourselves I'm, I'm, I'm from not... starting from that position. Because I think people are entitled to have a view. Now, he has never been in a position where he would try to force his faith down your throat. Or... What, what do you mean, force his, his faith down your throat? He's in a position where he, has, he can decide policy. He can make decisions that impact other people's lives. He's not just some guy on the street who has a different opinion. He is potentially, well, at the moment, he's the Minister for Agriculture, but he, as party leader, will have, impact, will have an impact or an influence over the first minister. If the DUP win a majority, they will, be, uh, they will decide the first minister of Northern Ireland, and that minister has a powerful position. And Edwin Poots will have influence over that person. And that person will decide policies that influence and impact the lives of people in Northern Ireland. As again, once again, it's not just some guy on the street who can have a difference of opinion. Anyone else's throat, he would not allow those things to get in the way of how he engages in policy and policy making. And he's an excellent track record of working with Sinn Féin, of working with John Finucane's colleagues, of working with other people across the board to try and make this place a better place. That's what interests us, making Northern Ireland work, making it a better place, and we will do that. And he's entitled to be What's the leader, it? and he's entitled to have his faith. He's entitled to have his personal opinions, but will those personal opinions impact the lives of people in Northern Ireland? I hope they won't. I hope he will say, look, 
I don't believe in science, but I understand that science is here. Science is what's necessary. Science is the, it's what's dictating reality. <laughs> if you can separate these two things, I don't know how he can do that, but he should not allow his religion to influence his policy making. But surely it will. So I think, unfortunately, Ian Paisley Jr. is operating outside reality when he thinks that Edwin Poots is able to park his lack of understanding of reality when he's deciding policy or influencing the First Minister or the DUP when it comes to ruling Northern Ireland. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?